2022 Lucid Air First Drive Review, 520 miles of range aimed at Tesla. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. It's just an hour or so before the first 2022 Lucid Air all-electric production car officially rolls off the assembly line at Lucid's factory in Casa Grande, Arizona. A section of the facility has been cordoned off to celebrate the occasion, replete with nightclub-style lighting and music, yet there's a slight sense of tension in the air. I'm sitting across from Eric Bach, Lucid's senior vice president and chief engineer, who no doubt has been anticipating this day for quite some time. Lucid's path to production hasn't been as fraught with peril as some other newcomers in the EV space, but there's no question that it's been a Herculean task nonetheless. And simply doing the thing isn't enough, in an ever-expanding field of EV entries, grabbing a would-be buyer's attention is becoming more difficult by the day. Lucid has a killer app, though. By now, you may have read about Air's industry-leading EPA range rating of 520 miles, a figure that Tesla vowed to achieve with the Model S Plaid but ultimately did not. While there are a myriad of factors that contribute to a vehicle's efficiency, one talking point that stuck out to me during my tour of the factory was Lucid's assertion that its drive motors are nearly three times as power dense as their competitors' units. I asked Bach how it was possible for Lucid to deliver technology that's seemingly so far ahead of current industry standards. It's not cost, it's ability, he explained. It is sheerly an engineering challenge. Other OEMs look at what's available from their suppliers and say, oh, there's a 250 kilowatt drive unit available from Bosch. For our next generation car, let's put 10% on top of that and ask for a 275 kilowatt unit. Bosch can't just triple what it's currently doing. Everyone lives off of benchmarks, so they incrementally spec up their systems. We instead approach this by hiring the best scientists in fields like electromagnetic design, thermal design, and mechanical design and told them to do something from the ground up, which achieves something that others have not. It doesn't take long to get into the weeds when you're talking about it of powertrain design with an engineer, and most of the really substantive bits remain under proprietary lock and key. Ultimately, the upshot is that Lucid looked at the options that were already out there and decided that it could do it better on its own. That decision undoubtedly sent the company down a more difficult path to production. But if you want to get noticed, you've got to make waves. Although my stint behind the wheel of the Airdream Edition range earlier that day was brief, we're talking 10 minutes through the Arizona desert, so keep this in mind when reading impressions from other outlets that attended the same preview, it was enough to make me realize that Lucid is about to do just that. Drawing up a new playbook. In the flesh, the Air's fit and finish look to be on par with typical luxury automaker standards. Panel gaps are fairly tight and consistent from end to end, there appear to be no glaring issues with the paint, and the bodywork is aligned properly. But that's to be expected from a vehicle with a price tag deep into six-figure territory, isn't it? The exterior design isn't especially daring, but elements like the light blade up front, which houses the vehicle's cameras and LiDAR system within the assembly in order to hide what would otherwise be unsightly warts on the front end, help to give the car a legitimately futuristic look without resorting to gimmickry. Features like the polished metal trim that runs from the A-pillar back to the C-pillar yield an aesthetic that's more elegant than athletic, though subtle touches like the integrated spoiler on the clamshell-style rear deck lid do hint at the car's performance capability. It's a similar theme inside as well. The air doesn't have the shock and off factor of the Mercedes-Benz EQS and its array of screens, but high-quality materials and the curved 34-inch display, which includes a bank of quick-access functions on the left, the digital gauge cluster in the center, and the primary infotainment screen on the right, go a long way toward making the cabin look both premium and cutting edge in a layout that's still familiar. The additional portrait-oriented touchscreen on the center console provides access to climate controls and other vehicle settings, but there are also physical controls for audio, HVAC, and the Dream Drive Advanced Driver Assistance System.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.